Today's devotion is part of a series where we're walking through the Book of Concord, which is um, it's the fundamental theolo theological text of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, which is the church body that Edgewater is a member of. Um, and the reason we're doing that, first of all, is no one stopped me yet, um, but also just so we so we kind of this material is out here of you know. There's there, there's a resource where if you have a question, you know, what do we believe about this, or how how do we um, how do we talk about this particular issue? Um, a lot of them are covered here. At very least, if if you want to think about, it, if you want to talk about, you know, why do we do things the way we do? What is the theology that is underneath our practice? Um, hopefully, these videos are are continuing to be a, a good resource and it occurred to me that I have done a lot of them so I figured you know now is maybe a good time to rehash why we're walking through these videos and the other hope is that in these videos um, there is a little bit of time and space for me to talk about how it actually change how how this theology impacts our practice right um how does what we believe about original sin change how we do things? How does what we believe about human traditions of the church impact how we treat chili cook-offs? Like, how does our theology actually impact how we live? Um, and you might say, well, J Josh, you promised these things are going to be under five minutes, and you spent a minute and 47 seconds talking about why we're doing this devotional series. Um I'm kind of taking an opportunity to do this because the the actual article we're looking at today is very short. It's Article 23 of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession concerning the marriage of priests. I am married. I love my wife very much, and she is an incredible blessing to my ministry. In fact, if you're watching these videos as they come out... Um, today is March 21st, and uh, and we're actually we're in the middle of Pastor's Wife Appreciation Month. The month of March is that. Um, so, I guess if send a text to Chris and tell her how awesome she is, because I, I do I do believe my wife is a blessing to to the ministry that I do at Edgewater. Um, that being said, it's the the idea that pastors are married or could be married is not much of an issue for um, for us today. I've never had anyone had any problem with me being married, um, but it was an issue that the church at the time that that Luther and his contemporaries faced, because in the Catholic Church there there was no marriage of priests that was not allowed. Um, and what the, this this is one of the longer articles. There are seventy one paragraphs in this article, which is how um, how it's organized is by paragraph. Um, and the reason is is this kind of they they kind of use this to talk about some of the what they viewed as arbitrary rules that the Pope had handed down, or that the that the church um, hierarchy had handed down. Um, so they, they kind of took this opportunity to also talk about that idea of kind of arbitrarily handing down rules. Um, but the core of it is is we believe that um, marriage is a good thing that, that can and should be upheld um, and that pastors are free and clear to be married. Um, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have concerns, uh, please drop them below. And uh, brothers and sisters, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.